Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom oh. Detective. We are going to start chapter number 12, and I have no idea what is going to happen next. I mean, we just got back from the kidnappers. So, what now? Well, yeah, the kidnappers kidnapped the wrong girl, but is that going to convince the Justice Minister? I don't think so. Yeah, um, can the Justice Minister hear you right now? I don't think he can. Hey, you're invading his personal bubble, okay, Lynn? Just back away. Oh yeah, he did hear what we were saying, especially when we called him a stupid old man. something with his wife. Is that it? Is that it? I think that might be it. Hey, I recognize that voice. It's a fabulous voice. Nothing like it, baby. Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Oh, hey! Detective Jowd is right here. Hey Jowd, how's it going? Wow, the entire gang is all here! Everyone's here! It's okay, Lynn. As soon as you get that, uh, whatever you call it, a music box, you'll be able to prove his innocence, right? Well, this is really interesting here. Can't I stay here and find out what's going on with these characters? Whoa, laughing? 
Hmm, Inspector Cabanella, I'm having a hard time seeing you as one of my heroes, okay? I think he's supposed to be a good guy, but uh, I'm having a hard time seeing that. No, oh, no, no, no. What if he brought him here just to delay time because he knew you were trying to solve his case? Hmm. So what do you guys think? Do you think Cabanella is a good guy or a bad guy? Does he care about his friend Detective Jowd? Is he trying to help his friend, or is he trying to move up the corporate ladder? That's enough, Lynn. It'd be nice if I could go over there and talk to a Detective Jowd. See what's going on with him. Yeah, Emily was sick. I remember that. Justice Minister, what do you have to say? You just now figured out who Emily was. Wait, seriously? Oh yeah, well, it's a complicated situation. Ooh, ouch, Sissel. You guys are really hurting his feelings. Seriously. Yeah, okay, okay, so, um... Aw, oh, man, there's no way for me to get up to the fan, meaning there's no way for me to get over to the right, I guess, and talk to Detective Jowd. Never mind, there is. Okay. Yeah, uh, they kidnapped your daughter, Jowd. Whoa, okay, how is Lynn able to talk to him? Isn't she far away? No, it can't be! Ooh, Sissel, do you really want to say that when Lin is within earshot? Don't listen to him! I shot her, I shot Alma! Tell the truth, Jowd. Oh, wow, we get to talk to him about everything? Woo. I thought this would be a short conversation.
An impossible move? Candles on the birthday cake. Oh, well, that's nice. And I think Jowd is suggesting that somebody performed a ghost trick on the Cupid. You know, somebody did a ghost trick on the Cupid, causing it to rotate. I think that's the crazy plot twist we're headed towards. Anyway, let's keep reading. So that's what's inside the music box. The murder weapon. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, thanks for the info, Detective Jowd. 